Boom! What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Rocket Lab. Uh, ticket symbol RKLB. So um, this is a stock that we cover here on the channel when they announced that they were going to go public through uh, a merger with Vector Acquisition. So I did that video here on the channel. Uh, that merger went through last um, this past August. I think it was August 23rd when the merger completed. And so now Rocket Lab is trying to make some moves. So I want to make sure that we cover that here uh, on the channel. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Rocket Lab, again, um, this is a company that I personally think that fits what uh, Kathy Wood is doing with her Act Invest ETF, the space exploration. And so uh, it's a company that sends uh, maybe satellites and other uh, equipment to space. They have rockets. So one of their main um, rocket is the Electron and then they have the Neutron as well. So this company, again, is up and coming. So when they made the announcement that they were going public, I said, um, for people that want to get into that space, this would be one that you can definitely take a look at. So uh, I want to jump right here and just show you guys some news about this uh, because um, Rocket Lab just uh, won a contract with NASA, which is awesome. So if we just read a little bit about um, the details here, NASA will send its advanced composite solar sail system known as the ACS-3 to orbit in mid-2022 aboard Rocket Lab Electron vehicle as part of a mission with other small satellites to other customers. So this is the Electron rocket that NASA uses. You can see the specs here. I mean, I'm not going to bore you guys with the details of, of, of that, but um, it's just safe to say that the fact that they have this contract with NASA or they won this contract with NASA, that's putting them um, out there, giving them that, that uh, exposure and now they can put it under the belt that we have the credibility to do all these different uh, projects. Again, they have comp uh, kind of competition from companies like SpaceX, uh, which is out there uh, coming strong too. So definitely not something to just uh, brush. Uh, but here is where I think that if this happens to Rocket Lab, this stock is going to see a massive jump. But again, until this happens, I cannot assure you that this is going to spike. Um, if you guys remember um, the Kathy Wood with her Act Invest, the Space Exploration ETF, this is these are the companies that are currently on that particular uh, ETF. So these are the, you know, the comp, the, what I call composition of that ETF. So you can see here Palantir, um, some big names that we know, um, Amazon, Netflix. Um, so then here is where I think that this company can benefit from. If Rocket Lab gets added to this list of companies by Kathy Wood, I bet you it's going to skyrocket because right now it's on the list and they're doing big things. So I'm anticipating that maybe someday Kathy Wood is going to add that to, to um, you know, this ETF. But until then, all we have to do is just sit and wait because you never know. Um, I don't know how she goes about selecting what companies she puts on here. Uh, I mean, she has like the big name Lucky Martin here, uh, Unity Software. Um, so I, again, Netflix, I'm thinking for a space exploration. I don't know what Netflix does in that space, but I'm not smart enough. I don't have the technology and the capability to be able to analyze this company like she does with her uh, team of analysts and the resources that they have. But uh, just from my own perspective, when I look at this, like, hey, I think Rocket Lab belongs on 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 this list. So. Uh, again, this is one and it's currently really cheap right now. If we can just go here and take a look at where Rocket Lab is currently trading today, um, sitting somewhere at about $15.19. Uh, um, this thing actually got up today and made a little spike up to close to $16. It just got up here to about $15.91 for high and then pulled back. There was like a really massive spike to the downside. Uh, before starting to curl back up a little bit, uh, but still sitting at about that uh, uh, $15 and some change. So for uh, a long-term position, in my personal opinion, again, guys, this is not, I'm not saying this is a swing because if you wanted to swing this, yesterday would have been a very good opportunity to do it. But right now, if you're going into this, start thinking long-term. Uh, again, you start small 
and average your way into the stock. And, I, and I've said this over and over. If you want to get into a position long term, don't just take all your liquidity and dump it at once. Average your way into a stock. So if you have a thousand dollars, so buy two hundred or two fifty, and then wait for that dip. You buy another two fifty. Wait for a dip. You buy another two fifty, and average your way into the stock, and that will give you um, a better, um, you know, cost average on your entry point. So that's just something that I want you guys to keep in mind. So basically, again, today the reason why you probably see Rocket Lab. Uh, surging is because of the contract with NASA to actually bring um, some of your um, solar cell system um, to uh, orbit again so that's just uh, the key thing here but again in my personal opinion I think Rocket, Rocket Lab has an upside uh, competing with uh, with the SpaceX of, of the world but they have an upside because right now the fact that they're able to bid and win contracts like this I mean, I mean, I mean, NASA trusts them, believe in the technology, believe in their rocket. And so you want to see them get added to Kathy Wood. And again, this is a stretch, guys. If Kathy Wood can add this particular uh, stock to the ETF, I think it would give the stock a massive boost. So that that's, again, just my my personal take. So, uh, again, when you, you're getting into Rocket Lab, this is a long term play. This is not just like a quick win. So average your way into the stock. Um, I like it because I, I like the technology. Um, I like what they're doing. I like the fact that they're able to compete with some of the big names and actually win a contract with NASA. That, that's no joke. That tells me a lot more about uh, what they have as a team that can go up against the, the space X's and blue origins of the world. So um, again, that's just my personal take. And again, I'm hoping that Kathy Wood can see this uh, as a catalyst to start adding um, Rocket Lab to their space exploration ETF. And if that happens, again, a stretch, but that would be a good uh, catalyst for the stock. So I'm averaging my way into it and hopefully hold uh, a, a position. I don't want to hold, I don't, I'm not going to go big on this, but I'm going to hold a position and uh, keep adding as I have liquidity. But other than that, let me know in the comment section, did you trade it or are you buying long term? Let me know what your, your thoughts are. Do you agree with me that if Kathy would add this thing into her space exploration, ETF is going to explode? Or you thinking, Mr. V, you are crazy. Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing or even with crypto, uh, put the links in the description below. You can go through either Weibo or you can go through um, SoFi. I mean, there's so many options. All I want you to do is get involved in the market, slowly build wealth in the market. You don't have to do it overnight, but slowly, even if it's $10 a week, whatever, buy something long term. Even if you're trading, make sure that you're still investing long term. So I just want to put that out there, make sure that you guys are doing the right thing. Uh, and as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be greedy, savage. Stay motivated.